hello dear learners today we are going to discuss few of the mcqs from social pharmacy which was earlier known as health education and community pharmacy we are going to talk about the mcqs from the chapter environment and health in our earlier parts we have seen few of the mcqs from uh, the same chapter which were used to cover all the parts like water purification methods and solid waste disposal methods okay so in part 4 we are going to few cover few of the mcqs so, so moving towards the first mcq the question is in control tipping the method of decomposition of refuse include dash now as we all know that control tipping is also known as sanitary landfill okay so what happens uh, in case of sanitary landfill first we'll have to see in case of sanitary landfill there is first the form, uh, formation of a or digging of a trench and into that trench first the waste layer is loaded and whole day waste is covered with the at the end of the day the waste is covered with the layer of the earth and this way the layers are prepared so it is called as controlled tipping so this method works on which principle like what all types of decomposition of refuse it includes whether it is chemical decomposition bacteriological decomposition whether both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is both of them in controlled tipping the methods of decomposition of refuse include chemical as well as bacteriological method as you can see here in the picture like the waste uh, which is going to get treated here it is like aerobic degradation is there okay then anaerobic degradation is there so here this hydrolysis okay acetogenesis generation of acetic acid methanogenesis generation of methane carbon dioxide all these things shows that the control tipping includes both these type of decomposition like by chemical as well as bacteriological the next question is in case of sanitary landfill refuse is gradually converted to dash whether the refuse is gradually converted to humus whether it is gradually converted to manure whether it is gradually converted to organic form or all of them the correct answer is it is manure in case of sanitary landfill refuse is gradually converted to manure now in our earlier video we have seen what is humus humus is nothing but it is a nutrient rich nutrient rich uh, portion like uh, out uh, which is made out of the dumping now here uh, the manure which is made out of the sanitary landfill it is nothing but a natural substance which is obtained by the decomposition of human waste plant residues etc okay so manure is any organic matter which is obtained by decaying of plants and animals whereas humus is generated from soil itself okay so here what happens in case of uh, humus humus is uh, generate getting generated because of the dead organisms and fecal material of the microorganisms living in the soil such as earthworms like you might have heard about the um, earthworm digestion okay then this manure is nothing but it is the excreta of humans as well as other animals which is rich in nutrients okay which is used in agricultural field to improve the soil fertility so in case of dumping the refuse is converted to humus and in case of sanitary landfill the refuse is converted to manure the next question is the special equipment required in burning is called whether it is autoclave whether it is incinerator whether it is incubator or none of them the correct answer is it is incinerator the special equipment which is required in burning that is incineration is called as incinerator so the diagram which we have already seen on in our second part okay so this is an incinerator where the where the 
waste is getting burned the the equipment which is used is incinerator okay then next is incinerator is the equipment which is used in dash so just now we have seen that the incinerator is used in case of burning or incineration so we'll see what are the options so first is incineration infiltration then infringement or all of them the correct answer is it is incineration incinerator is the equipment which is used in the process of incineration the same diagram it is there okay but only the change in question was what that this way also the question can be asked that incinerator is used in which process and this way also the question can be asked that which instrument is used in the process of burning or incineration next question is incineration is the method best preferred in case of whether it is best preferred in case of hospital refuse household waste fruits and vegetables or all of them the correct answer is it is hospital refuse incineration is the method best preferred in case of hospital refuse why because the hospital refuse which you can see here in the picture this is generally quite risky now uh, in such pandemic situation also you might be observing the swabs which are collected okay nasopharyngeal swabs uh, nasal swab okay uh, so all that swabs are too risky to dispose of it through dumping and all uh, techniques so the incineration is the best method which destroys the hospital refuse okay next question is composting involves disposal of dash whether the composting involves disposal of refuse whether it involves the disposal of night soil whether it is both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is both of them as we have seen that composting is nothing but it's a kind of manure which is formed in the process of composting so it is called as compost so here refuse that which we have seen in our earlier parts the meaning that it is nothing but it is the discarded material unwanted material so it is called as refuse oh, okay it can be anything like it can be the metal from uh, the older devices or the device ka part any part can be there vehicle ke parts can be there okay so these are the refuse the refuse is discarded material but here with respect to composting the refuse says like that was solid waste here we are dealing since in composting when it comes to like there are various types of composting which we are going to see in our next question but the refuse which is the discarded material like household discarded material also you can call it as okay like uh, it is uh, the waste from the fruits vegetables and all and the night soil night soil is what it is nothing but the human excreta which is collected at the night time like these workers are working to collect the excreta human excreta in the dark like in the night so it is called as night soil so both of this uh, composting can be done so this here you can see this is the refuse like household refuse and this is the night soil which is used for the agricultural purposes okay so this is nothing but refuse and night soil and the composting involves both of these forms of waste like refuse as well as night soil next question is composting works by dash whether it works by anaerobic decomposition whether it works by aerobic decomposition whether it works by earthworm decom earthworm background or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them like as in earlier question i told you that we are going to see in the next question that uh, what are the ways by which the composting works so here it is the answer like it is aerobic decomposition which you can see here and this is the anaerobic decomposition a special tank which is made wherein anaerobic decomposition can take place this is aerobic like in presence of air and this is wormy composting okay earthworm breakdown okay breakdown by earthworm actually it is okay so this is nothing but types of composting aerobic aerobic composting anaerobic composting and earthworm composting okay 
like it is break down by the earthworm next question in case of composting the refuse is gradually converted to dash whether it is converted to humus whether it is converted to manure whether it is converted to organic form whether it is converted to compost the correct answer is it is compost since the method is composting the refuse is converted to compost as you can see here like compost which is nothing but it is made from decomposing the organic materials into the simpler organic forms and inorganic compounds <coughs> in the process called as composting so this decayed organic material can be used as a fertilizer for growing the plants next question is dash is a short term method of solid waste disposal whether it is control tipping whether it is burial whether it is dumping or burning the correct answer is it is burial the solid waste management the short term method for the solid waste management is nothing but it is burial method like a, a burial method like as you can see here in the diagram the same way in the sanitary landfill the layer of waste the layer of earth the layer of waste the layer of earth but what is the difference between sanitary landfill and the burial method here there is a very small tench which is dug which will go for only few of the days like where in in case of sanitary landfill it is not a short term method okay it will take months and uh, like months and months for the trench which is dug to fill completely okay so this burial method is for short term period but it is like sanitary landfill only with this the next question is septic tank is dash septic tank whether it is water tight masonry tank whether it is plastic tank whether it is water tank or none of them the correct answer is it is water tight masonry tank masonry tank masonry is nothing but it is constructed from the brick layer like as you can see here this is the cement concrete lid this is the brick layer wall which is constructed so it is called as masonry and it is a water tight masonry tank means water cannot be leaked from this so it is water tight masonry tank which is nothing but septic tank so with this we finish with few of the mcqs from environment and health okay stay tuned for the next parts thank you